Hello and welcome to the show. Sorry, I'm having issues. Um, <laughs> welcome to the Recovering Collector. I'm Michael Jason Francis. Welcome back. Um, George Lucas said that when he was a uh, when he was a kid, he used to watch um, matinee serials at the movie theater he would go to. Matinee serials were like these two real, by two real I mean short films. Uh, and these matinees, uh, serials, um, had, was like Flash Gordon, uh, Buck Rogers, Zorro. There was a whole bunch of them and they were basically focused on adventure and excitement. Um, great cliffhangers, all that fun stuff. While he was writing the first draft of Star Wars, he went back and started watching some of those serials. They were from like the 1930s and 1940s. Um, in a few, the hero would try to um track down lost idols treasures uh any type of hidden tombs the tomb or tome tomb <laughs> um that's when i'm i wrote this down because i wanted to say it because george lucas actually said this about him that's when his intrepid archaeolo archaeologist adventure professor playboy tomb robber and expert in the occult equipped with a bull whip, bull whip and a pistol was born. <laughs> that was a lot to say, but that's that was something George Lucas said about ready for it, Indiana Smith. Yeah, Indiana Smith. So <laughs> fast forward, fast forward, okay? Fast forward to the finish of Star Wars and basically Lucas planned this trip to go to Hawaii uh with his friend and director as well, uh Steven Spielberg. Uh, basically what they were doing is they were kind of hanging out on a beach away from the premiere of Star Wars, just waiting to find out the grosses, how much everything was going to, you know, how much Star Wars was going to make that weekend. And as everyone knows, it made a lot. <laughs> um, basically it was like a landslide, like number one at the box office, box office was number one for a while. Um, until I think E.T., I think E.T. is the one that overthrew it, which is funny because Spielberg and Lucas are friends. Anyway, uh, basically, Lucas asked Spielberg, he's like, hey, so what's the next movie you're going to make? And Spielberg was just like, oh, you know what? I'd really, really like to make like James Bond. And <laughs> oh, hi, Hatter. Welcome to the show. Um, was he wanted to make a James Bond film? Uh, and George Lucas said, I got that beat. I have Raiders of the Lost Ark. And so that began their professional, their basically their professional career together. But there was one small request that Spielberg had. It had to be Indiana Jones, not Indiana Smith. Uh, Jones had to be vulnerable, like a real person. Uh, they wanted, he, he wanted the audience to believe that like, hey, we could be this guy, you know? Um, so that was basically a quick little introduction to how Indiana Jones was born. Um, tonight on the show, of course, with all unboxings, I always like to talk about the year that the, either the, the film that the, the figure was based off of or when the figure came out. And tonight is this. So this is Kenner's, uh, uh came out in 1981. Uh, Indiana Jones 12 inch figure. Um, a lot of these 12 inch figures, they're based off of the old, like GI Joe dolls and stuff like that. Nego, all the things like that. The larger dolls, like Star Wars brought out the three quarter scale figures. And that was a pretty big thing, but even Star Wars had some of these. And we'll talk a little bit more about it when I unbox this thing. Um, but we will be opening up Mr. Indiana Jones here. But first, as always, I like to talk about the year it came out. And so 1981, which was a crazy, crazy year um, because of just all the, all everything that was happening. So if you don't know your history, there was an Iran, uh, basically Iran hostage crisis that ended. It was like 444 days that these uh, uh, prisoners were held and they were released in 1981. Um, the space shuttle challenge, Columbia, I almost said challenger, the space shuttle Columbia 
that took flight. This was the first launching of the space shuttle Columbia with only two astronauts. Uh, basically, they went up to make sure that the ship wouldn't fall apart. Um, and I think they also brought up uh, part of the space station. Um, IBM brought out its first personal computer. Um, I think we talked last week during the whole James Dean thing and uh, <laughs> talked about basically the 25 megabit uh, hard drive or whatever that was created for IBM in 55, 56, 56. Um, Lady Diana Spencer married Prince Charles. So Di and Charles, 1981, they got married. Um, and there was one, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Hold on real quick. I'm once again, I'm using uh, the peoplehistory.com, not affiliated with them, not promoting them. Uh, five megabit. Thank you, Hatter. Uh, I'm not promoting them, but I love that. I, I love the fact that Wikipedia, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of all over the place and you can't really trust that too much, but I really like the peoplehistory.com. Check it out. Cost of living. Let me just, I always like doing these cost of living things. The average cost of a new house this is a brand new house, brand spanking new. No one else has lived in it. $78,000, $78,000 for a brand new house. Uh, if you were buying, if you're buying a house that I was going to say used, if you're buying a house that was uh, already previously lived in, that was about sixty-six thousand. Uh, your average income of what you were making in nineteen eighty-one was twenty-one thousand a year. There's that. Rent three hundred and fifteen dollars. I I wish I was paying rent that was three hundred and fifteen dollars. Um, <laughs> uh, a gallon of gas was a dollar twenty-five. That would be nice as well. Um, there was one other thing. Ah, here it is. Sandra Day O'Connor. If you don't that know that name, you should know that name. Because basically, President Ronald Reagan appointed Sandra Day O'Connor to the U.S. Supreme Court on July 7th. That was the, she was the very first woman to be on the Supreme Court. Sandra Day O'Connor, okay? Uh, she had previously held positions as an Arizona state senator uh, and then a superior court judge in Maricopa County from 1975 to 79, and then a judge uh, on the Arizona Court of Appeals. Um, so, and then I think she she stayed on, I'm trying to remember where it might have been in this, but she stayed on until 2005. So from 1981 to 2005, Supreme Court judge. So that's amazing. Um, uh, and of course, 1981, the year Raiders of the Lost Ark came out. Um, oh, Pope John Paul II was, uh, I guess there was an assassination attempt on him, uh, May 13th of 81. Oh, I mean, that's important. But the DeLorean, <laughs> the car from Back to the Future, 1981 is when the DeLorean first appeared. Uh, it came out, I think, the sports car here, that was produced January 21st of 1981. There was only about 9,000 of them made. And I think now there's only about, I thought I heard, read like, there's only about 50 of those around now. Um, but yeah, how crazy is that? Uh, first London Marathon. Apparently an undiscovered symphony of Mozart was found, you know, in someone's closet. No, it was <laughs> in a Bavarian State Library. Um, an undiscovered symphony of his. So, you know, that's interesting. Uh, let's go for, ooh, here's the toys. Apparently there's some Clash of the Titans toys. Really? And they were $7.99 each. This is really a great site. Uh, oh, and munchie cheese. <laughs> Those are munchie cheese. are the little monkey doll like things. And they had little bibs. Munchie cheese. Anyone? Okay. Um, <laughs> and there was a Jaws game. That's cool. Um, and of course, Star Wars toys. Oh, look. Uh, a Star Wars laser rifle. They called it a laser rifle. It was basically the, the gun that stormtroopers would shoot. Uh, that was seventeen ninety nine. Oh, Dahlia Love. Hi, Dahlia Love. Uh, Dahlia Love had them. Oh, the Munchie Cheese? <laughs> oh, 1981 was also the first year that Ronald Reagan became president. Um, let's see here. Uh, I mentioned, oh, about the, Iran, uh, the, Iranian, the uh, Iranian hostages. There was 52 American hostages who had been held for 444 days. Um, what was this? Oh, the wreck of the Titanic. This was interesting. So the wreck of Titanic, it wasn't that it was found, uh, but there was a gentleman by the name of Jack Grimm announces that he believed he found part of the wreck of the Titanic. Now, um, he did not, he didn't find the location of the wreck, but he had passed close by it unknowingly. 
Um, then later in 1985, they actually found the rat. Muhammad Ali retires in 1981. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. <laughs> Everybody who loves watching serial killers on Netflix and everything. The Yorkshire Ripper, Peter Sutcliffe, uh, is caught and in prison for life on 13 counts of murder. 1981. Um, so, yeah. American Test Tube Baby. The first American Test Tube Baby is born in 1981. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, and I think here. Oh, here we go. Uh, the pop culture stuff. Okay. Oh, he died last year. The Yorkshire Ripper. Dial love coming in with that. The, Dork the Yorkshire Ripper died last year. Um, I think there's a, they, there's a documentary on Netflix right now if you want to check that out. So popular culture of 1981. Music television, MTV first launched in 1981. Um, August 1st of 1981. Um, I didn't watch it then. I watched it a lot later than that. <laughs> but that happened. Um, the popular films were Raiders of the Lost Ark, Superman 2. Uh, <laughs> I, I was there to watch it. I'm old. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> um nine to five any wit any which way you can is that the monkey one i feel like that was the monkey one with clint eastwood um arthur <laughs> i'm just remembering some lines from arthur i'm not gonna do it um you think he wants some cheese sorry okay uh cannonball run <laughs> that's my dom de louise oh that hurt <laughs> Do you think he wants some cheese? Do you think he wants some cheese? Dialogue. That's what it was. Um, cannonball on. Oh, wouldn't it be great if the, the hamsters can celebrate the victory of the cannonball cannonball run together? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I just, if you haven't seen Cannonball Run, go see it. I think it's like the first Jackie Chan American film that he's in, that Jackie Chan's in. Um, so, and Burt Reynolds, Dom DeLuise, a lot of people. Dean Martin. Who's, con who's just drunk drunk throughout the whole thing. Um, and Sammy Davis Jr., who's less drunk, maybe? Um, on Golden Pond. I feel like we've talked about On Golden Pond before. Uh, the first song played, Video Killed the Radio Star. Had her, yes. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first music video on MTV, Had Her Through It. Um, video Killed the Radio Star. I believe you're right. Um, did it kill the radio star? I don't know. Um, Adrian Barbo, yep, is also in uh, Cannonball. Thanks, Dahlia, for that. Um, at the time when Cannonball came out, I didn't see it until a lot later, but I knew Adrian Barbo from Swamp Thing. Um, and then Dahlia Love put, I'm a pep, you're a pep. Watch Cannonball Run. It's hilarious. Uh, and Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire actually did see that in a the theater. Wow. Oh, Farrah Fawcett. I'm, I'm not a Farrah Fawcett fan. Never was. Uh, but thanks, Dahlia Love. <laughs> <laughs> um popular musicians john lennon uh blondie dolly parton for her nine to five uh sheena easton diana ross and lionel richie oh with endless love i remember that uh olivia newton john with physical oh boy speaking of music videos physical um roxy music bucks fizz i don't know who bucks fizz i don't know who that i don't know who that is adam and the ants Adam and the Ants, isn't it Adam and? Adam and, uh, and maybe Adam, Adam and the Ants? I don't know. Uh, Michael Jackson, Queen, and David Bowie. <laughs> born in 1981, get, get ready for this. Justin Timberlake was born January 31st. Britney Spears was born in December 2nd. And uh, Jennifer Tisdale. So there you go. <laughs> love, shut up. Yep, that's it's here. Um, real, let me wrap up a little bit more here with the, uh, oh, here, scientists identified the AIDS virus in 1981. I said the first flight of the, uh, space shuttle Columbia, um, IBM la launches the first PC. Oh, the term internet was first mentioned in 1981. Uh, post this, post this notes, post it notes, post it notes, can't speak. Post it notes launched by 3M Corp. Uh, the world's fastest train, the French TGV, goes into service between Paris and Lyons. Lyons. Lyons? Uh, ooh, artificially, artificially produced insulin. Oh, no. oh MSDOS released by Microsoft. 
MS DOS release. MS DOS, is that how you say it? <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's 1981. So that was a crazy year. Um, I always, like I said, I always like backtracking and checking this stuff out to find out what was going on the year. Uh, well, this figure and this figure, everybody is 40 years old. Um, 2021 marks the 40th anniversary of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, Leon's. <laughs> Thanks, Hatter. <laughs> that remind me of Leon Neon. Do you guys, anyone out there remember Leon Neon? Um, <laughs> I don't know. He said Leon's. I said Leon Neon's. Okay. Um, yeah, but 40 years ago. So 40 years ago, Raiders of the Lost Ark came out. Um, that's just crazy. Um, there's a whole new box set of all the Indiana Jones movies. Um, I keep forgetting there was four of them because, you know, Crystal Skull. Like, as much as you want these characters to come back, uh, I looked up that commercial a few months ago. <laughs> Wait, you looked up the commercial hatter for Leon Neon? Um, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> uh no four yeah anyways 40 years ago indiana jones uh that just blows me away yep oh you did you looked up the commercial for leon neon i totally i totally lost my train of thought here but just oh there's going to be a new box set of the uh indiana jones I, not trilogy because now there's four of them quadrilogy i remember the aliens brought out quadrilogy when they had four of them so indiana jones quadrilogy that just sounds awful um, but I keep forgetting about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Like we all love these characters and it's great when we, they come back. But like when you get the Crystal Skull, you know, you, you just remember Shiloh LaBeouf was swinging with monkeys. I feel like I've said monkeys like five times on the show already. Um, he's swinging with monkeys. Uh, it, 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 you know, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it does fit in with indiana jones because it's all the crazy kind of things of the 50s pop the 40s and 50s serials or whatever that um george lucas was walking watching during the day but it's just it's a terrible movie <laughs> i think i can get through the whole part until he survives the nuclear blast by being in the lead-lined uh refrigerator that he gets blown out of everyone should forget about crystal skull at her yes a hundred percent. Um, so let's open this up. Uh, let me get back to here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Look, it's NTR draws. That's for Friday. There it went. <laughs> if you haven't watched, if you haven't watched just draw the damn thing, watch it. And NTR draws, NTR draws hashtag will make more sense. So here's the figure. It says Indiana Jones, the daring archaeologist and world adventurer of the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I think it's now called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. They, you know, like with the Star Wars movies, they matched everything to each other. So, you know, the Star Wars ones, well, Star Wars has gone crazy because it's like the Luke, what? Cherry suffocated in one of those refrigerators. <laughs> Hatter's talking about Punky Brewster. I'm like, Cherry suffocated in what? Yes. Punky Brewster had a whole episode. If you're an 80s kid, you know this. Uh, Punky Brewster had a whole episode uh, about making sure kids know the dangers of playing in refrigerators. Oh, a fan wrote it. Dialogue came in with a fan wrote it. Um, during the 80s, as kids, we used to hide in lots of different things um, and do lots of silly stuff. And I guess refrigerators was a big thing where a kid would find it and hide in it. And once you're inside, it's hard to push out of it. It is a serious issue, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, there was a whole episode based around it and Cherry, one of the main characters got locked in it. And who was the, who pulled, wait, who saved her? It was the, the friend, right? Not Margot, the other one. I think about it every time I, I see a fridge and the door is not off of it. <laughs> the Hatter says a fan wrote it from inside a fridge. <laughs> Alan, Diane, Alan, their friend, Dal, Alan. So it was Cherry. I can't believe we're talking about Punky Brewster. I got my, my Indiana Jones gear on and we're talking about Punky Brewster. Alan, 
um cherry and margo were punky brewster's friends yes so you guys <laughs> and they did cpr that's right yeah because cherry was like out man um oh god you guys uh <laughs> uh so back to indiana jones um so the contents it says authentical 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 uh, stylized 12 inch action figure with removable hat, jacket, shirt, pants, boost, holster, gun, and whip. So that's the selling point for this. It's right here, right on the cover. Um, removable felt hat and leather look jacket. It's got a leather look jacket off the rails. <laughs> yes, you guys are. Um, uh, gun, holster, and bullwhip. Authentically styled shirt and boots. Well, here you go. Oh, what's this? Hold on. There's a little tiny thing here in white. I'm going to read it. In the interest of better quality and value, we are constantly improving and updating our product. Consequently, pictures on the package may sometimes differ from the model enclosed. Okay, so if you can take a look at that, that's that's the toy that we're supposed to be getting with his perfectly pleated pants and hat. Um, I already took a look at this. And if you can look, the hat, does not look like that hat, <laughs> like at all. Uh, inside it opens up, Indiana Jones, the daring archeologist and world adventurer of the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, starring in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Here we go, contents again. They start talking about how authentically styled this 12 inch action figure is. Meets and exceeds all safety requirements and product standards, meaning there's no fridge in here to get trapped in. So <laughs> it's for safety guidance. On the back, um, this box is like barely holding together. <laughs> uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark recreating exciting Indiana Jones exploits. Okay. Indiana Jones discovers an ancient Peruvian artifact here. Indiana Jones and Mary Raven and Mary, God, Mary and Ravenwood face danger in Nepal, ready for action with pistol and bullwhip. Okay. Um, once again, talking about how authentically styled everything is. Um, just in case you need to know, that's what Indiana Jones looks like. So I'm gonna, the tape on this is like barely hanging in there. Uh, after a while with a lot of these things, like I said, this is 40 years old. After a while, um, the tape, everything gets oxidized. Nothing really holds together. It's great when you buy like vintage figures. I've had this for a while. It's great when you have these vintage figures and stuff like that, but if you're not able to really take care of these things, like put it in an archival safe something or other, you're going to lose it. It's just between the oxidized, oxy, oxidized, I can't even say it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> the environmental issues that happen to these things while they're not being, they, they, they belong in a museum. That's the best way to say it. So I'm going to open this up. Okay. And yeah, okay, so <laughs> so the figure, everything's put together on this figure. The first thing I'm just gonna show you, so this is the hat. <laughs> um, that's the, here's the hat. I don't, <laughs> it, it's, it, I, you know what? It looks like something that would go like on Paddington Bear. Um, it is, it, it, it's clearly felt. <laughs> Hatter said Paddington. <laughs> ah, looks like his father's hat. Yes, it looks like his father's hat. Um, I'm just going to put that right there. Um, I probably should, I once again should probably wear gloves. Um, so there we go. Here we go, Mr. Indiana Jones. Let me put this box over here. Um, so one thing I did read about this figure is that it, the body is basically, if you take a look at this, it's Han Solo. So they took a Han Solo figure and uh, basically put a little Indiana Jones outfit on him. Uh, so this, the what did they call it? Leather-like? What was it? What did they call this thing? Um, where is it? Where did I read that? Oh, leather look jacket. So the leather look jacket is actually pretty cool. Um, something's hanging here. Oh, it's his whip. Okay. Uh, the leather look jacket, it looks good. I'm wondering if this was like, 
they made happy doll happy dolls <laughs> they made they made um happy days figures like this too i'm wondering if this is like they just took fonzie's jacket like they took han solo and like fonzie's jacket um these pants also are not as nicely pleated as they are here i'm just i'm gonna write kenner an angry letter and just say hey you're indiana jones the hat and these pants i know there was a little thing saying like hey it's not always going to be perfect but come on um here's his his boots um i guess oh his boots they, the boots do come up. I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not going to be taking off Indiana Jones's stuff. Um, I'm just, just saying right now. Uh, but uh, everything looks, I mean, like everything is like attached. He's got, everything's attached. Like he's got a belt. Uh, his whip is, a, oh, let's see. Let's see what is, let's see. Hold on, hold on. So he does have a gun and a holster. It's already, I'm going to try and see if I can get the gun out and not, Every the gun the the toy's fine. It's actually not very de delicate or anything like that. The box is a mess, but he's got his little. I think it's like a 1911 revolver. Is what I read. That was like Indiana Jones's gun. There was like two styles of it, but I think it was like a 1911 revolver. Um, so that comes in and out. He's got his little holster there. Ah, um, get that back in there. I'm gonna try and hook it back on there. If the whatever this leather look stuff is <laughs> as a belt, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold up very well. Um let's see if we can get his whip out here. Uh here's the whip. Uh the whip's right here. I think it just pulls out. How do we get the whip out? <laughs> can't believe I'm playing with a 40, a 40 year old toy. <laughs> Wait, I can't believe I'm over 40 playing with a 40 year old toy let's 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 put the let's get the perspective in here um <laughs> this is what i do on my monday nights uh here we go okay it the <laughs> really <laughs> yeah you love um okay hold on uh well i, I mean I, okay I, I expect to be playing with toys just not a 40 year old one 40 yeah the one that's 40 years old um hold on i think i almost okay so i got oop. Uh, i'm trying to... <laughs> okay so i got the whip oops i crushed his felt hat um the whip is basically a frayed end a knot and the rest of this nylon cord that's wrapped around to make it look whip like let's see if i can make a whip noise <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So got his whip. Let's see if I can get, okay. I'm going to try and see if I can put this hat. I'm going to try and put this hat on and like, <laughs> like what is happening here? I've been playing little nightmares and this just looks like one of the little, um, little creatures. What are they called? The little gnomes. It looks like a gnome. Uh, this is, <laughs> oh this hat's terrible i don't know what the here we go there you go now you can really go off for some adventure I, this hat is just i, I don't know how to I, I don't think there's any way to fix this hat i'm gonna what if i <laughs> oh my god so i'm just gonna have it back like this so i'm just gonna pretend it rained well that looks no, it looks still looks pretty bad. I'm just gonna pretend it rained, his hat got wet. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna switch this back to this. Okay, so here he is. Look, oh, look, twins. Oh, I just need to get him a pair of glasses and have his hair fall out, and he'll be perfect. <laughs> Oh, this hat. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, I'm just going to put it back like this. I... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, so these things don't have... This is basically like the old Barbie and Ken dolls. So there's no real articulation in the arms, feet, legs, or anything like that. They just kind of bend at the hip and at the shoulders. The head turns. Woo. I want to try and see if I can... 
get his whip going here. Wait, should I have him hold his gun? I'm going to have him hold his gun too. So let's get the whip in there first. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so here's his, he's got his whip. I, I'm just realizing me and this together. <laughs> They're cousins. Identical cousins. Patty Duke show. Never mind. Wrong. Wrong year. Uh, let me get the gun. Oh, his belt's coming off. Hold on. It's getting crazy. Hold on. Uh, fix his belt. I feel like his pants are falling off. What's happening here? His, it, he needs a, yeah, hold on. Let me tuck in his shirt. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, hold on. And his jacket keeps riding up. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I wish the, <laughs> this is the, everybody. This is what sideshow collectibles hot toys used to be. <laughs> this is getting kinky. Now you love. No, I'm <laughs> just trying to fix it. Um, okay. So there we go. Okay. It, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool figure. Okay. It really is. Just the hat is awful, you know? And, so here, here we go. He's got his gun. He's got his whip. Whoa. And the, fe the felt hat came off. Um, it's <laughs> where'd my hat go? You can't have him lose his hat. I'm going to try and grab it. He went for a little ride here. Okay. And, uh, whoop, stand up there. Let's see if I can fix this hat. I, <laughs> of course I dropped it and felt, it's now covered in cat hair or dog hair. One of the two. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's here. I'm going to try and put the hat back on. Felt is just the worst. Um, <laughs> so there's his hat. Staple it. <laughs> yes. Now you love. There was a documentary. Uh, I think it was for the last uh, Indiana Jones and the last crusade. And there's an outtake of Harrison Ford during this documentary about the making of it. And he was riding his horse. He was trying to get catch up with a tank and uh, his hat kept blowing off. And so in one of the scenes, Harrison Ford, you see him with a stapler and he's like stapling it back on to him. He didn't, I hope he didn't really do it though. The next take it shows him and he did it and the hat didn't blow off. Uh, but you know, they're actually making another Indiana Jones movie. Now, Harrison Ford, God bless him. I love him. He's like, he's got to be like 85 by now. How old is Harrison Ford now? He's old. He's getting really old. And I love him. Like I said, all that fun stuff. But remember the Indiana Jones Chronicles? And there was two of them. So you saw, no, there was three versions of Indiana Jones in it. Um, there was even four, but that we'll, I'll talk about later. So there's three versions of Indiana Jones in the Indiana Jones Chronicles. There was the, the, the young Indiana Jones Chronicles. That's what it's called. There was the like 10 year old Indiana Jones. There was the Sean Patrick Flanagy, Flanagy, the guy from Boondock Saints. He was Indiana Jones for a while. And then there was a really old Indiana Jones that had an eye patch. Um, like Harrison Ford is that Indiana Jones now, I feel. <laughs> Like the, it was a really old Indiana Jones. So there was three of them. And then I think it was the history of the blues episode. Um, uh, he is or going to be 79 in July. Oh, okay. So Harrison Ford's not even 80 yet, but he, I think he's still too old. I like, like, let's get, let the guy give him, let's give him a break. You know, I, I mean, he's older than Sean Connery was when Sean Connery did last crusade. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I think he, he, he can retire now. I love him, but I don't think we need another Indiana Jones. And I swear to God, if Shia LaBeouf's in this one, I'm not. I'm just, let's just not, okay? Um, but yeah, they're doing another one. George Lucas, Spielberg's involved. Harrison Ford's involved. I don't know if Lawrence Kasdan, who's the guy who kind of pretty much wrote most of them, uh, is going to be writing it again. But they're doing another Indiana Jones. And it's just like, you know what? I think it's time to stop. Uh, and oh God. And if they start doing, if it's like Mark Hamill showing up where Indiana Jones, they like de ages face. Um, I just, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there for that. <laughs> I'm just not. Um, so here is, 
our Indiana Jones figure from 1981. 40 years old. He looks good for 40 years old. He looks good for 40, as far as figures go, except for this felt hat thing. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna go and try and see if I can find like a a hat, maybe like from Japan or something like that for miniatures. And I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him a better hat. Um, because everything else about him looks pretty cool. Like I, I'm digging it. I'm good. I'm good with this. It's just the the Paddington hat is just not not really working for me. And maybe the whip isn't either, but you know, I don't think he needs it. <laughs> Woo! I'm having too much fun with this. Uh <laughs> Thanks again for coming back to the Recovering Collector. Uh, Recovering Collector is every Monday at 7.15 on Twitch. Um, less live. Uh, you can catch all these episodes on YouTube. They're on Twitch for a bit, too. Twitch keeps them on for like a week or so. But if you go to Neutral Robot's uh, YouTube channel, you can watch all these episodes whenever you want. Uh, come back on Wednesday for uh, a Lego brick in the wall where I'm building. I don't know. I got something that's in the mail. I don't know if it's going to make it on time. So I might run to Target and just buy something quickly. Um, so it might be a one-off of a Lego brick in the wall, but I will have something. Um, and then Friday, come back. Fun game show called Just Draw the Damn Thing, uh, where me and uh, Ryan Carell, who's had her in the chat here, um, have three five-minute warm-ups to draw uh, using the theme of the night. Last week, the theme was... Um, superhero uh and then i have a random word generator that gives us a word and then we have to without really thinking about it just draw it just draw the damn thing uh and then we have a 30 minute uh main event as well uh so come back for that um yeah i'm indiana jones you know um i'm trying to remember a uh, indiana jones line and for some reason my mind's blanking uh just besides that it belongs in a museum i already said that um but there's my twin. I wish. Not, I don't wish I was a toy. Maybe I wish I was a toy. That'd be fun. Did that get weird? <laughs> so do you. Thanks, Daniel Love. <laughs> I'm Michael Jason Francis. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.